Welcome to Tally Help videos. In this video, you will understand the process of generating payment link to request for payment from your customers. To generate payment link from Tally Prime, all you need is a merchant ID obtained from a payment gateway that is integrated with Tally Prime and a one-time setup in Tally Prime. Generating payment link from Tally Prime has benefits like you don't need to go to the payment gateway portals to share the payment link via email or SMS. The payment gateway portal shares the payment link via email or SMS the moment you send the payment request from Tally Prime. Moreover, you can also share the invoices and reports with payment link and or QR code via email as attachment, export to PDF or simply copy the link and share it with the client. You can easily do it from within Tally Prime after the voucher creation at the time of saving the voucher from the book, ledger voucher reports or outstanding reports as per your preference. Furthermore, you can generate payment links while printing the ledger voucher, outstanding reports, or reminder letters. You can also print, export, or email vouchers and reports with payment link and QR code if needed. What's more, Tally Prime gives you the flexibilities to send payment links for multiple vouchers of the single party or for multiple vouchers of multiple parties as needed. Once the customer sends you the payment, the details such as transaction IDs and dates get updated on the payment gateway portal. Before you set up Tally Prime for generation of payment links, to request payment from your customers, you need to ensure that you have a merchant ID generated from one of the payment gateway portals because the information is required to set up Tally Prime. Now, let's see how to enable payment request and enter merchant profile details to share payment link or QR code in Tally Prime. Press F11. Set show more features to yes and then set enable payment request to share payment link or QR code in Tally Prime to yes. The merchant profile details screen appears. Enter the name, say the user's name. Select the payment method, payment gateway or UPI. Enter the merchant ID. Enter the registered email or registered mobile as applicable to the payment gateway selected by you. You can create multiple merchant profiles if needed. Now, to configure the merchant profile further, press F12. Show option to save payment link or QR code while generating from reports ensures that whenever you can generate and send payment links for multiple vouchers from the reports, you can either choose to save the payment links in multiple vouchers or deny it. However, you can also do the same for single voucher if needed. Set payment link expiry allows you to set the number of days in which the payment link will expire. Once you set both the options to yes and press Ctrl plus A to save, you get the options in the merchant profile details screen. Under save payment link file generating from reports, select the appropriate option. If you set it to ask every time, then while generating payment link, Tally Prime will ask whether you want to save the payment link or QR code in the selected vouchers every time. If you set it to yes while generating the payment link, it will save the payment link or QR code in all the selected vouchers without asking. If you set it to no, it will not save the payment link or QR code in the vouchers. Let's set it as ask every time. Under payment link expires in, set the number of days you want to allow for a payment link to be valid. For instance, let's save it as 30 days. This means that the customers need to use the payment link to make the payment in 30 days. Press Ctrl plus A to save the merchant profile and then press Ctrl plus A to save the F11 features. You are ready to use the feature for sales, POS, journal, debit note, delivery note and sales order, voucher types. 
Now, let's see how to generate payment link from the voucher alteration screen of an already recorded voucher. Press Alt plus G. Type or select the book and press Enter. Select the voucher for which you want to generate payment link and press Enter. The voucher opens in the voucher alteration mode. Press Alt plus Z. Generate payment link or QR code. Current and press Enter. The generate payment link or QR code screen appears. If you have multiple merchant profiles, then you can select the one that you want to use. You can choose to share the payment link via SMS, email or both as preferred by your customer. Based on the option you choose under mode of sharing payment link, the payment gateway sends the link to the customer. The mobile and email will be prefilled based on the information entered in the party ledger. You can enter or make changes as needed. Press F12 to configure this screen. You can set any of the options to yes as needed and press Ctrl plus A to save. As you can see, you have the flexibility to change the expiry date of the link. We had set it as 30 days in the merchant profile screen. Select the reference number. By default, the voucher number is considered as the reference number. However, you can select some other references from the list or specify a new number if needed. Under Remarks, you can enter a message for the customer. Press Ctrl plus A to save the details entered in the screen. Based on the payment gateway you had chosen in the merchant profile, you will get OTP on email or through SMS. Enter the OTP and the payment link gets generated. The system does not ask for OTP again unless the session expires. Subsequently, the customer receives an email or SMS or both as per the option selected by you. As you can see, the reference and remarks entered by you is the part of the email. The customer can click the link and make the payment to you. Now, in the voucher, press Ctrl plus O. Select payment link or QR code and press enter. You can see the link, QR code, expiry date and amount based on the payment link you generated. You can also press Ctrl plus C to copy link and then send it over to your customer as needed. You can also print the payment link and QR code. Press Ctrl plus P. Press C to configure. Type or select method of payment request and press enter. You can choose to print link, QR code or both. Press Ctrl plus A to save the configuration and then press I to preview. As you can see, the payment link and QR code are the part of the print. Similarly, you can email or export the PDF of the voucher and share with your customers via email, print or other modes as per your preference. Now, let's see how to generate the link at the time of saving a voucher. Press Alt plus G. Alter Master. Voucher Type. Type or select the name of the voucher type, say Sales and press Enter. In the voucher type alteration screen, set generate payment link or QR code after saving voucher to yes. This ensures that whenever you save the voucher, Tally Prime prompts you to generate a payment link. Let's see how it works. Press Alt plus G. Create voucher. Enter all the necessary details such as party account, sales ledger and stock items. Press Ctrl plus A to save the voucher. As you can see, Tally Prime asks you if you want to generate the payment link. Press Y to generate the payment link. 
Enter all the necessary details in the Generate Payment link or QR code screen and press Ctrl plus A. Since the session has not expired, the system does not ask for OTP and the payment link gets generated. The customer receives an email or SMS as applicable and can make the payment. Now, let us see how to generate payment link for multiple vouchers recorded for different parties. Press Alt plus G. Type or select the book and press Enter. Select the vouchers using spacebar. Let's select the vouchers recorded for single or multiple parties for which we want to generate the payment link. Press Alt plus Z. Generate payment link or QR code. Current. And press Enter. The generate payment link or QR code screen appears. Under reference number, you can see that the payment link will get generated for single or multiple references for the selected parties. Click the down button and you can see that the other party and the amount corresponding to it is also mentioned. You can change the amount based on the amount for which you want to generate payment link for the party. For instance, a party might want to pay only a partial sum at the moment for which you can change the amount easily. Once you press Ctrl plus A to save the generate payment link or QR code screen, Tally Prime asks if you want to save the payment link in the selected vouchers. This message appears because we had implemented the required setting while creating merchant profile in F11 features. As you can see, we had set ask every time and the save payment link while generating from reports while creating the merchant profile. If you press buy, then the payment link will get generated and saved in each voucher and it will reflect the same amount in all the vouchers based on the total amount of the selected vouchers. If you do not want to save the link in all vouchers, then press N. The payment link will get generated but will not be saved in all the vouchers. Since you have selected multiple vouchers, Tally Prime displays an exchange summary in which you can see information such as number of payment requests and payment link generated. Moreover, here you can also see the party-wise status as the payment link was generated for multiple parties. The customers have received the payment links on their respective email or mobiles as applicable. Similarly, you can select multiple vouchers in any other ledger voucher or outstanding reports and generate payment links. Press Alt plus G. Ledger vouchers. Type or select party name and press Enter. Now, press Ctrl plus P to print the current screen. Press C to configure. Type or select method of payment request and press enter. You can choose to print link, QR code or both. Press Ctrl plus A to save the configuration. Press I to preview. The generate payment link or QR code screen appears. Under reference number, you can either select all bills or specific bills. Let's select specific bills. Select the specific references for which you want to generate the payment link. Select end of list and press enter. Press Y to generate the payment link and QR code. As you can see, the payment link gets generated for the specific bills you selected. The exchange summary appears in which you can see information such as number of payment requests and payment link generated. Press escape and you can see the print preview with the payment link and QR code. You can follow the same procedures in the ledger outstanding reports and reminder letters and you can print the reports with payment link and QR code. Once you send the payment links and your customers make the payments, the payment gateway ensures that the money reflects in your account after deducting their service charge. You need to create a ledger for payment gateway so that you can account for the amount received from your customers that the payment gateway has settled. Press Alt plus G. 
create master ledger and press enter let's call this ledger as payment gateway you can create it under current assets if you do not want the payment received through gateway to reflect under bank books however you can choose to create the ledger under bank accounts in any of the cases you get an option to make the ledger behave as a payment gateway ledger set the option to yes select the payment gateway from the list of payment gateways press control plus a to save the ledger now that you have created the ledger let's see how to record the receipt of the payment press alt plus g create voucher press f6 for receipt under account select payment gateway select the party and enter the amount received from the party through payment gateway you can select multiple parties and enter amount corresponding to them in the transaction allocation screen enter the mode of payment as applicable transaction id and transaction date press control plus a to save the screen and then press control plus a to save the voucher now let us see how you can manually reconcile the payments received from your customers through payment gateway press alt plus g type or select payment reconciliation and press enter as you can see there are some vouchers that do not contain transaction date while those may or may not be having the transaction id in such a case you can go to the payment gateway portal and download the statement thereafter you can enter the transaction date here to reconcile the payment once you enter the transaction date and save the report the voucher gets reconciled and it doesn't appear here anymore you can press f12 and choose to show narrations and allow back dated reconciliation now you can import the statement of transactions downloaded from the payment gateway portal to reconcile the vouchers automatically press alt plus o payment gateway statement select file path and file name and press enter tally prime displays a message with the summary of total entries reconciled and additional entries that you imported you can see the additional entries under amounts not reflected in the company books let's create voucher for one of these entries that is not in the books press alt plus j to create voucher as you can see the voucher creation screen appears and you can easily create the voucher and it gets reconciled in a matter of seconds if you want to view the voucher then press control plus p and set include reconcile transactions to yes as you can see the voucher starts appearing in the report Now there can be transactions imported from the payment gateway portal with amounts matching with those in the books. However, the date or transaction ID may be different and therefore the vouchers remain unreconciled. When you try to create voucher for such a transaction, Tally Prime prompts you with a message. Press in and you can see the entry suggested by Tally Prime. You can see that you haven't updated the transaction date in the voucher and therefore it has remained unreconciled. Select the voucher and press enter. You can see that the transaction is reconciled. There are still some transactions that are unreconciled. However, you know that you have received the payment and verified it, then you can reconcile the transactions. Select the transactions and press Alt plus Q to reconcile unlinked. You can also do that for all such transactions. You can also press Alt plus R to reconcile all unlinked if needed.
In case you identify that some of the imported transactions need to be deleted, then you can select those and press Alt plus V to delete unlinked. You can press Alt plus W to delete all unlinked if needed. Now, since the payment gateway has settled the amount received from your customers to your bank account, you can create a contra voucher for the same. Press Alt plus G. Create voucher. Press F4 for contra. Under account, select the ledger created for your bank account. Under Particulars, select the ledger created for Payment Gateway and enter the amount. In the Transaction Allocation screen, enter the mode of payment as applicable, Transaction ID and Transaction Date. Press Ctrl plus A to save the screen. And then press Ctrl plus A to save the voucher. As you saw, Tally Prime provides you with a wide range of facilities to send payment request links to your customers as you can generate payment links during voucher creation, voucher alteration and for multiple vouchers of single or multiple parties as required. Moreover, you can also reconcile the receipts, refunds and settlements in the payment reconciliation report and keep your books updated. Thank you. To know more about Tally Prime features, visit help.tallysolutions.com. Subscribe to the Tally Solutions channel for the latest videos.